Hi Floss Tube and internet and YouTube and I don't know, everyone. Uh, my name is Judy and uh, welcome to my my video about my crafting, mostly cross stitch. I've got a little knitting thrown in. Um, today is, because there are no days, right? We're still, <laughs> uh, today is April 30th. It's the last day of April. And I am coming to you from San Francisco, where uh, where we are. I just forgot what it was called. It's called SIP, shelter in place. That's that's what I'm looking for. We are sheltering in place for another month. They're letting us do certain things. Like now, you can go play tennis. I think the hiking trails are going to open back up, but we we are still, they, oh gosh, you guys, I was okay. I didn't want to talk about this. I was not going to talk about this, but now I am. I was good through the end of April. We were supposed to be done with this on May 3rd. Um, and I like to stay home. I don't go out a whole lot, but I do go out. I do go out eat at restaurants on the weekends and see my friends and it's starting to wear so for all of you out there I hope you're all are well did that even make sense you all are well anyway okay so sorry about that tangent it's just been on my mind <laughs> and I don't have anybody to talk to except for my husband and he's tired of talking about it we're all tired of talking about it so let's get back on track one thing i do want to say is thank you so much to those of you who subscribe and have come back um it just brings joy to my heart every time i see a little like so and so has subscribed so and so has subscribed and i think i'm up to 59 which is like 58 more people than i thought would ever <laughs> subscribe to this channel but there you go okay but thank you everyone. I love it. It's fun. Um, okay, down to business. I gotta stop touching the table. It's so shaky. All right, sorry. Um, today's drink that I promise I have not had that much. I know I just went on like a weird ramble, but today rum and coconut water and coconut rum and coconut water super good smidge of lime tasty and yes I'm using a straw because I'm that person mm. what can I say let's talk about mania um last year was the first time I did it I was lukewarm though I love watching everybody else's mania videos oh my gosh I'm so behind on everything but like, keep them coming. I am loving watching all these things that people are planning to do and are going to do, and I'm here for it. But um, I was this close <laughs> to doing it again. Um, the plan was, I actually was going to, as of a couple days ago, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna kind of be all in. Um, I was going to pick up my smalls that I did from last year and then for the, I think I've only finished like maybe two from last year. And then I was just going to stitch on one thing the rest of the time. So I wasn't going to actually add in new projects. Um, so that, that was my idea. And then, um, I talked about this last video, but, um, the new mirror came out. Uh, Princess Eliana, I believe is the name, and I am infatuated with this, and I need to start it. It needs to be a thing. Um, but I really did not have any faith that I would get the the pattern and all the things in, well, honestly, I didn't think I'd get it until like the end of May, because and it always takes a bit for it to come out and all that stuff. So, hence, I had just 
decided to do mania. But now I have a tracking, I have a tracking number. And the super exciting thing is it might actually be here on my birthday. My birthday is May 5th, which is, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> next week so I would love to start that on my birthday that would be amazing and even if I can start it a day or two after that would be great I'm in so a mania plans you guys scrapped done out what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch on that little just nan mouse and scissor roll thing I showed it in my last video too um, and I think like I should be able to finish that up it started off pretty quick. I was out of the DMCs that I needed to finish it. So that's the plan. That is my new plan. Start that scissor roll, pick it up tomorrow, May 1st, stitch on it until Princess Eliana comes in, and then I'm just stitching her forever <laughs> or until further notice. But you're going to be seeing a lot of her for a little bit. So that's what's happening. All right, moving forward. Um, my whips, my whips that I've worked on in the last two week, weeks. So I do have a thing for Mira's. Um, I pulled this out. Roses of Provence. I started her a few years ago. I'm not really sure when, a couple years ago, I think. Um, this dress, you guys, look at this thing. It is, uh, it is something. So I did a lot of work on that. I actually participated in, it's another thing I didn't talk about, 24 hours of cross stitch. Um, I participated in that this past weekend for the first time and I only stitched about 15 hours. Though I think I might've been a little to stop and start on my little stopwatch. I mean, if I stopped to talk to Joe, I would stop it. <laughs> if I got up to go to the bathroom, I would stop it. If I set the needle down for a few minutes, I would stop it. I feel like I just needed to embrace the time a little more and be a little less rigid. But sometimes my brain gets a little like, stop, start, start. So, I got a lot done on her and that was super exciting and I, Again, before this other mirror came out, I was just gonna work on her for a while because I would love to have her done, but now not so much. So that is put to the side, that is a whip. Um, I'm almost done with Joe's sock. I just need like another row and then a bind off. Look, a little knit one, pearl one cuff. So these, are almost done and then I just well I need to make a second one because one sock does not a pair make so that is something that I have been working on the past couple days so that's exciting um, and I know he will enjoy having a pair of socks so <laughs> there's that all right um, haul I'm gonna move through this pretty quick because I have things to do. I know like we're just here at the house, but I just feel like I need to do some laundry and I need to get the bedroom cleaned up. So I apologize if I seem like I'm rushing a little more than normal. That might be why. Um, all right, so haul. Since I had to order those DMCs for my little Just Nan, I picked up a couple Dimensions kits that I've been eyeing for a while. They're the small ones, the uh, Gold Collection Petites. So I, I love these and I've been eyeing these for a while and I haven't done a dimensions kit in ages. Um, oh, that's one I should pull off the wall to show you guys for an old finish. I don't think I've shown that one. I have a butterfly one that I did. Um, which reminds me, I should probably write down which of the old ones I've shown you so I don't repeat. I'm sure somebody will tell me. We've seen that one. Um, so then uh, for Princess Eliana, I ordered two pieces of fabric. 
Um, I plan on doing her on a blue. Um, these are from Seraphim. I ordered from her website. Hand dyed by Laurie. Um, I'll put a link to her in the bottom. But I ordered this blue. I think this is the one I might use. And this one. <laughs> I'm gonna put them together so you can kind of see. I mean, basically one's just a lighter blue than the other. Um, but this one on the bottom is called Wedgwood, and I think that's the one I'm going to go with. Um, I think I might actually have to iron these. <laughs> I don't know. I've never actually ironed fabric before or after a project, but I, I kind of feel like with these I might want to, so hmm. if I break out that iron, I'll let you know. Um, so that's all I've gotten in the mail as far as crafty cross stitch stuff. Um, but I do have a couple finishes. And Mitch Stitch, this is for you. I'm wearing it. I finished my poncho. Oh, can I get back far enough? Can you see? <laughs> it has wings. It's all done. I think it needs a little little steamer. It's got a few little wrinkles and stuff. Um, I do need to put some little buttons. Uh, there's some little like, they look like the bone or abalone kind of buttons. We'll go there. But it's done. I spent hours yesterday seaming this just so I could wear it for this video. So I'm excited about this. This is really nice. Um, I, I'm actually thinking about knitting it in another color, but it was, it was a little bit of a slog to knit, but I really love the outcome. I love it. One more whip. No. One more finish. It's a finish. This was one of my mania starts from last year. Uh, cheer. A little kit from Bent Creek. I have no idea this is going to go in my little finish bag and sit there for ages. Look, it says holiday cheer. But the instructions didn't tell me how to backstitch and I was mostly done and I realized maybe I should have used two strands of thread because it's kind of hard to read. So we'll see. I'm not doing that now. I'm counting it as finished. And if in three years I feel like taking that out and redoing it, well then I will. It'll take me like 30 minutes, it'll be fine. Um, but that's it. I don't, like I said, you know, um, I kind of like doing the two weeks. I'm gonna try and do two weeks. Cause I like to keep these videos short. I mean, again, y'all, I watch your two hour long videos and I love it, but I just, I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me to do a two hour video. Maybe someday. Who knows? Um, maybe if I get into like magical stitches and I'm doing all these different things, but I have thought about signing up for those. And again, it's my brain, I think, would just have a meltdown. I love it, you guys. Okay. So this, this is kind of a pair. I, again, I do not know how old these are. Oh, these are, they came, look, they came with frame things. Um, mat boards, they came with a little mat boards. So um, these are like Christmas things. It, it must've been a kit, I have no idea, sorry. Someone just buzzed our front door. And Lilu, Lilu. She's our little guard dog. Anybody recognize these? Cause I have no idea. I don't even know when I finished these. I sort of remember doing them. All right, hold please, I'll be right back. All right, 
She's Joe's problem now. <laughs> All right, here's the second one. I mean, these are cute. I don't know. Again, you can see the little stars, like little stars are little glittery stars. I don't know what I'll do with these, but I can't get rid of them. I mean, that's the thing. Like I, there's, they're not going anywhere. Um, but they're cute and you know, maybe someday I'll do something with them. They're cute little mat boards here. See, I know you're dying to see what they look like in little mat boards. Don't worry. It'll be straight if I do it. <laughs> but yeah, these are cute. So again, I have no idea when I stitch them. I, I vaguely remember working on them, but I have no concept of what time period that was. Um, but yeah, that's it. I think you guys, hopefully I will stay on schedule. I will do two weeks. I will have my princess started. Her colors are, oh my God, you guys, I, I showed a picture last week. It's, she is so pretty. Like I am just in love with her more than I have been in a really long time. And I, I love almost all the Mirabilias that have been put out. I, I mean, I would say at least 90% of them I, I love, but this one is just over the top. The colors are crazy. <laughs> it's so good. So, all right. That is it. Um, comment below. Uh, I will have show notes up eventually with information. If there's something that I don't have in my show notes, ask away. Leave me a comment or just leave me a comment anyway. Subscribe, please. I'd love to get to 100. That would be, that would be amazing. So, I'll see you guys in a few weeks. Take care. Bye.